Playing sports is fun, builds character, and teaches teamwork. But letting children play contact sports can be more dangerous than parents realize. Chronic Traumatic Encephalopathy, or CTE, is a condition discovered by Dr. Bennett Omalu and is caused by head trauma. People with CTE have serious and sometimes life-threatening brain damage, similar to Alzheimer's. The disease is the subject of the movie Concussion, where Dr. Omalu is played by Will Smith. In the book, Truth Doesn't Have a Side, Dr. Omalu shares the true cost of playing contact sports and how to keep your kids safe on the field. And the author of Truth Doesn't Have a Side, Dr. Bennett Omalo joins us now. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Well, great book. I have to say, many people would be surprised at even the conditions of your birth. I feel like you were born for this job. You were born in Nigeria during a civil war. How difficult was your childhood? Well, uh, my childhood, um, my, I was born as a refugee mm -hmm. um, in a dilapidated refugee hospital. The first two or three years of my life, I suffered malnutrition. I suffered the psychological traumas of war. And um, growing up, I began to struggle with depression mm -hmm. and very low self-esteem. I, I was just a very socially maladjusted child. Mm -hmm. And in doing that, I discovered that we all are members of one another. Yeah. I began to discover my faith journey. Beautiful. That brought beautiful. me to America. A beautiful journey. Now, your very name has special significance. Yeah. Tell us what it means. Well, um, in fact, the day I was born, my father was hit by one of the numerous bombs dropped by the Nigerian Armed Forces. Mm -hmm. So he, the Catholic charities actually lifted his body to place it in the truck for the mass grave and he groaned. Mm. He was brought to the same refugee hospital where I was. A couple of weeks later, when he was relatively um, recovering, yeah. I was placed, I was handed over to him, placed me in his bosom and he gave me the name Bennett said for Bennett, he's a blessing unto my life mm -hmm. from the French word Benoit, yeah. uh, to bless. Mm -hmm. And then he gave me a middle name, e Fakandu, an African name, mm -hmm. which means life is the greatest gift of all. And that was the, also the name of the doctor who yes, delivered the, you? Yes, that delivered mm -hmm. me, Dr. Fakandu. Yeah. And ironically, my last name, Omalo, actually is a shortened form of my real last name, which is Onye Malukube. Oh, we, we appreciate Omalo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, my, uh, what it really means is, he who knows must come forth and speak. He who knows must come forth and speak. Yes. So you see, my journey yeah. in America is an epitome of my three names. Absolutely. <laughs> now, in terms of he who knows must come forth and speak, in 2003, you're viewing slides of a deceased NFL player's brain. Yes. What do you discover? Well, I saw changes in his brain that had not been described before in the brains of athletes outside boxes. Mm. I, you know, I was still struggling with depression. I thought I was being delusional. Wow. So I took it to other doctors mm -hmm. to confirm what I was seeing. They confirmed uh, what I saw. They were much older, more experienced doctors. So the consensus was to give it a name. Mm that of course Mike Webster was not a boxer. Yeah. But I, as a forensic pathologist, I knew that I couldn't just give it any name I wanted like dementia, footballitica, or mm -hmm. Bennett or Malo's disease or mm -hmm. Mike Webster's disease. Right. I recognized this was an occupational hazard which will end up in the court of law. And there is a double standard in the American legal system that states that for scientific evidence to be admitted as evidence in the court of law, it needs to have precedence. Mm -hmm. So I had to go back to the time of Hippocrates okay. to search yeah. what are the names in the literature I could use yeah. for this disease. Yeah. And chronic traumatic encephalopathy wasn't difficult for mm -hmm. me because chronic traumatic encephalopathy sounds intellectually sophisticated. Yeah and it had a good acronym. Mm -hmm. And actually, chronic traumatic encephalopathy doesn't really mean anything, to be honest with <laughs> wow. you, because that, that was this fear mm -hmm. in me that, look, I could be wrong. 
Uh -huh. So if I were proven wrong down the road, I would have some wiggle room to get up. Oh, after all, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but we know from, from your experience with that football player, you meet him on the autopsy table, uh, and you, you discover this, and you reveal this. People, I would think, that this medical knowledge, this advantage would be celebrated, but that wasn't the case for your discovery. Why do you think so? Yes, it wasn't. The NFL uh, came after me, uh, not just the NFL, fellow doctors, mm -hmm. including the doctors who are doing research on CTE today, yeah. including the National Institute of Health. Yeah. Everybody came after me, marginalized me, ostracized me, dismissed me. In fact, I was labeled dangerous. Mm -hmm. Some insinuated that I was practicing African voodoo medicine. But you know, I looked above that because I practice my faith in my science and my science in my faith. I'm a Christian. Mm -hmm. And I believe that, like Ephesians tells us, Ephesians chapter 4, that we are all one body, one spirit, one hope in Christ, bound together by the bond of peace. Yes. Whatever we do for the least of us, we do for all of us, because we are all members of one another. Absolutely. And God is preeminent in all things. Mm -hmm. God is truth. God is life. God is light. Mm -hmm. As long as you profess the truth of God, come what may, the truth will prevail. Mm -hmm. As long as it is for the good of all. Absolutely. So I believed what I saw was for the good of all, yeah. including the good of football, yeah. especially our children. Our children are gates of the life of God, mm -hmm. the spirit of God. God gives us the gift of his spirit and life in a child. Yes. And as Christians, we are bound to protect, nourish, and cherish that gift of life because mm -hmm. it's the greatest gift of all. Absolutely. Having said that as a Christian, mm -hmm. knowing what we know today in 2017, mm -hmm. there is no reason whatsoever any child under the age of 18 in America should continue to play the high impact, high contact collision sports. Yeah. The big six are football, ice hockey, mixed martial arts, rugby, boxing, and wrestling. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. If your child plays even just one season yeah. of football, mm -hmm. with or without a helmet, there is a 100% risk exposure to permanent brain damage. 100%. 100% risk exposure because there is no safe blow to the head. And studies have been done mm -hmm. in high school students who have played just for one season. And after one season, with or without a helmet, with yeah. or without concussions, their brains show evidence of brain damage. Wow. And we see today that there are more than 3 million children from 6 to 18 playing football alone. Yes, children should play the non-contact, non-impact non sports. Mm -hmm. There are so many of them. You mm -hmm. could visit the International Olympic Committee, like I explained in my book. Mm -hmm. Non-contact sports like track and field, Swimming, volleyball, basketball, um, badminton, table tennis, lawn tennis. Mm. You know, there was a study, if I may share this, mm -hmm. that came out of Sweden last year that shocked even me. Mm -hmm. They looked at 1.1 million children over 41 years. Wow. It shows that if you suffer at least one concussion in sports, you're more likely to die before the age of 42 for, through violent means. You have a two to four times increased risk of committing suicide. You have a two to four times increased risk of suffering psychiatric illnesses, including major depression. You have much more increased risk of engaging in violent behavior, mm. criminal behavior, mm -hmm. becoming a drug addict, and abusing alcohol. Wow. Real quick before I let you go, I had the privilege of interviewing Will Smith and seeing the film Concussion. Has the concussion film made a difference? Yes, I call it the Will Smith effect. Uh -huh. the, what I couldn't do in 15 years, the movie did in one year. Wow. There's no question about it. The mm -hmm. concussion movie has been a very successful movie. Mm -hmm. It has impacted society, and it has permeated the fabric of society. And I think it's because of the good spirit of Will Smith. Mm -hmm. Will Smith is a shining light. He is, he is a wonderful human being. Mm -hmm. And I think because of the, the love in his heart, he is, um, he's helped us to spread this good message. Let us please protect our children. 
No, indeed, indeed. I tell you, sitting here with you and having seen the film and interviewed him, he truly captured you. You had yes. to have seen yourself <laughs> on that screen. Yeah, not, my guest is Kalisha. <laughs> <laughs> he got it. Your voice, the laugh. He, he even it says did. that your laugh is a testament to what it means to be an American. He yes. says that in the book. I, I enjoyed reading that. Yes. <laughs> well, if you would like to know more from Dr. Bennett Omalo and the dangers of CTE and the scandalous cover-up, his book book is called Truth Doesn't Have a Side, and you can find it wherever books are sold. Dr. Amalo, thank you so thank much. You so it much. was God a pleasure. pleasure.